What is up, you guys, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Now, where we last left off, turns out we've been in cahoots with a Mind Flayer. So, a bit of a twist there, but alas, here we are. All we wanted to do, we, we had our little sleeping cap on, we had our fuzzy socks on, we were in our pajamas. The Gith Yankee jumped us. I we just we can't catch a break in this game ever. But let's crawl into our blood-soaked bed with the corpses of our enemies rusting atop the linens and try to get a good night's sleep. God knows we need it. What what a horrible way to end the day. <laughs> you ever think of that like we just defeated the chosen of miracle. We just lifted the shadows out of the out of the Shadowlands. All we wanted to do was take a nap, and we, we can't even have that. Look at our camp, dude. We slept in that. But alas, Shadowheart wants to talk to us. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Huh? Oh, is this where she gets white hair? Because I see videos of her with white hair. Is this where it's supposed to happen? And I totally messed it up because I have a hood covering her head. <laughs> uh, I love it, I think. Is this it? Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Okay, hold on. Let, let, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I'm not going to talk to her about the tadpole. Let me see. Shadowheart, do you? What's going on here? Oh, <gasps> dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! She looks so Always good. Pleasant traveling with company, if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Dude, with the armor, she looks so pretty. Oh my god! Okay, I kind of want to leave the hood off now, at least for a while, so I can admire it. Never Jeez. Okay. Girl. She's coming for Astarian's brand just a little bit, but, uh, you know. Will, let me, let me speak to you first. I never give you attention. Love Shadowheart's new look. Right? Softer, less severe. It suits her. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's cute. I don't think it's softer, but I think it's genuinely, like, she's giving main character energy right now. Lazelle, what's up? Your parasite communes with Lazelle's. Oh, she probably has a lot to say. As she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. Yeah. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Yeah, it's that I I forgot. Like that's got to be a huge revelation to her. Lysel. I have to give Lizelle credit. She just keeps taking hits. Like every every act that we go through, it's just like your your universe is a lie. Like that's and she just taking shots. Pause. But let me let before I get into this conversation, I added a little scar to his face. I feel like it it's kind of fitting, right? I mean, we defeated the chosen of miracle. We, we went to war at Moonrise Towers. We got jumped by Gith Yankee in the night. I feel like at some point, probably during the Gith Yankee fight, we, we got a little messed up. So I, I gave him a little scar to kind of show what we've been through. Uh, maybe it'll heal, maybe it won't. It depends how much I like looking at it. But also, one more thing, sorry. It's the beginning, it's the beginning of the episode. I have to yap a little bit. Zevlor. I totally forgot that Zevlor was in the Mind Flayer colony. I mean, the, the game was kind of pushing that he was, and I just, I, I guess I didn't look hard enough. I was super into getting into the battle with Ketherick Thorm, that I was just speed running through the colony. Uh, I managed to save Mizura, which is a miracle in of itself that I even managed to find her. But Zevlor, I totally just walked right past his pod. I didn't even know that he was in there. They, they gave me no sign or anything. I went back and I saved him. I don't know if he's gonna be in the next act because of that, but it just felt right that I go back and save him regardless, even if he's not gonna be in any further scenes. Just because I was so upset by that, because if I had known he was in there, I totally would have saved him. But 
it just it eluded me because I was I was so hyped for what was going on in the moment. He completely slipped his mind. It completely slipped my mind. I was like in the shower after that recording session and like mid shampoo in my hair. I was like, <gasps> I forgot Zevlor. <laughs> yeah, he's he's alive. In case anyone was worried about that. Okay, done yapping. Let's let's get back into the story. Uh, we we've learned a lot about Orpheus through all these conversations, so I know I know who he is. So our dream player is a our our dream figure is a mind player. Isn't that more concerning? The Emperor, yes, a stunning revelation, but not so stunning as the prisoner. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacket. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The okay. first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Wait, what? There's multiple Vlackets? Uh, 157, that's a lot of Vlackets. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlackith I. It was Kithrak Voss himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us, subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Wow. Hmm, then Voss was right. Orpheus is the seed of Vlakith's demise. That's actually interesting, because Voss was the one that supposedly killed Orpheus, so why the switch up? Why does he want Orpheus now to destroy Vlacketh? There's so many questions. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our Geich slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three words, and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Mm-hmm. So that's... I I'll talk about this after we're done with the conversation, actually. Because I have a lot to say about Lysel. She she's such a good character. Um, like to talk about Orpheus? What about him? Um, why did Vlacketh keep Orpheus alive all those millennia ago? The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Right. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? When we talked to him as the Guardian, he was like, Vlacketh doesn't know actually at all where she gets the power to keep the Illithids at bay. So that that makes sense why she'd want to keep him alive if if not to use him or like figure out. Uh, why would Vlacketh want Orpheus dead now if he's so valuable alive though? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlacketh's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Hmm. So who are the hostile Gith Yankee in the prism? Orpheus' is honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlacketh in the same prism holding their noble prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as geich, tadpoled husks in the Emperor's thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Wow. 
Um, I guess I'll ask this. Why is he called the Prince of the Comet? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature. Powerful beyond measure, and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the Jeez. shards to his <laughs> elite. My character's masters. face. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakid spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. Well, on to other matters, Very Jesus. Well. Well, I'm not going to talk to her about the tadpole because she's obviously going to be super offended that I'd even offer it to her. But the thing I like about Lizelle is that I kind of got her character misunderstood when I when I first was introduced to her. Like because she was so dead set on serving Blacketh in the beginning. Like Blacketh is everything. I I live to serve Blacketh, but. Honestly, as soon as the truth got revealed to her that Blacketh is kind of not all she claims to be, it's it's clear to see that her her loyalty really just lies with her with her people. Like it was never really about Blacketh, it was about being true to herself in a way. Like Blacketh's teachings were kind of what kept that what what kind of built up her her strength, her resolve everything about her but honestly like she she doesn't need that to I don't know I, I think she's a super super interesting character that as soon as the truth gets revealed it's like I got it now I get it I, I'm, I'm here to I'm here to do what's right for my people and I, I appreciate that she didn't just like blindly be like well I serve Lacketh so what are you gonna do I, I like that A mind flayer's been getting their tentacles all over our dreams this whole time. I know. I'm really not sure about putting any trust at all in this thing. It's already shown itself a liar. I've got my eyes on the Emperor, and Karlak doesn't blink. I just saw you blink, but all right. What about Shadowheart's hair? God, Shadowheart looks like a yeah. stack of gold. <laughs> Never thought I could get so excited about someone's forehead, but here we are. Right? How'd she grow out her bangs? Uh, I think I... Didn't I ask all of this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we asked... We, we had like a whole analysis about her in Gortash last episode. Hal said, what do you think, buddy? I was concerned when I saw Shadowheart creeping about with a blade in the dead of night. But it was just to cut her hair, it seems. It suits her. Actually, why did she have time to cut her hair? Because we all got jumped in the middle of the night. So when when did she do that? You got concerned that she was cutting her hair in the middle of the night? You didn't get concerned when a portal opened up and the Gith Yankees started trying to kill us? Like, huh? You didn't, you didn't wake us up? You didn't warn us for that? You weren't even there! You didn't even show up for the fight, actually! Whatever Hal said. Gail, Shadowheart's hair. There's no more radiant sight than that of someone who's learned to love themselves anew. What are you looking Shadowed at? Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. <laughs> it suits her. Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. Gail, I love you, dude. He's so pretty. Actually, let me look at his armor. Does... Because I'm playing a wizard in one of the new playthroughs I just started, and I'm pretty sure light armor not isn't around, supposed to suit them. Well. So did I give him armor that he's not even efficient at? That says it should be fine. No one back I guess you're fine. Ever believe this. Astarian, did you see Shadowheart's new haircut? Her new hair dye? She's coming for your brand. Oh, we have a new look. For a new shadow heart. 
Nice as it is, she still doesn't have the best hair in the camp. Of course, of course. Um, I guess we're good on that. I don't want to take up too much too much time talking at camp, but I do want to look for Aelin real quick, because I don't think we fully got to talk to her yet. Aelin? There you are. I have awaited your arrival with there great anticipation. Come closer. Yeah, because we only did the Shadowheart dialogue. Step back and defend yourself. Why? I saved her. We're, we're homies. We have the same name, kind of. Step closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. All right. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. Huzzah. My mate, most high. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Am I, are you, is this a prayer? I couldn't have done it without you. That's true. That's true. She, she came in so clutch. The second I released her from the, from those bindings, Ketherk was done in like two hits. I couldn't have done it without you. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Good. Ooh, are they going to be like permanent camp members now? I hope you can actually fight with me. Because you're kind of broken. Uh, what do you intend to spend your newfound freedom on? I am free from my bonds. But not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's still a great deal I don't know about you. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Um... Ooh, can I ask all of these? Are you really Saloon's daughter? Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Wow, who's a father? Um, how did you come to be trapped in the Shadowfell? <sighs> Ketherick Thorn, father of my one and only love, enslaver of Dame Aelin. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn never did trust me, even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel, by her love for me. Hmm. When she died, curse the day, the hour, we each of us mourned bitterly. But Ketherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was uh. reborn, for it is my nature. And Ketherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead. And we, we live! Man, Aelin has had it rough. I'm I'm surprised she hasn't like actually gone insane from that. That must be like some divine resolve that she has. But it's one of those things. I maybe I have too much sympathy for Kethric. I, but can you really blame him for turning to Shar for turning to Miracle? I mean, the dude lost everything. You're telling me Saluna couldn't have also brought his daughter back for him? Like, was that really too much to ask? Uh, like, I don't know how Isabel died. I mean, like, maybe she got sick or... Oh, I don't know the details, but, like, you couldn't have helped her get better. You couldn't... I don't... 
Aelin, your mom couldn't have done that. All of, all of this could have been avoided if, I don't know, a little divine intervention. It's all, it's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. Wouldn't have had to turn to Shar. Like, why, why could Miracle bring his daughter back and not the divine goddess Saloon? I don't, I don't, I don't mess with the gods in these realms. Uh, would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the dead three? Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side. Dame Aelin. So mighty. I'll take it, words, honestly. Her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. If, if you can be on my team, I'll take it. You were a heavy hitter. You came in clutch. Um, is it all good? I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he become by yeah. killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. Hmm. Aren't you at all sad about your father's fate? I mourn the man I knew. He was wonderful. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Hmm. I believe in chemistry at first sight. There's magic in a look. That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt Aww. the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then, and this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how, why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face, so changed, so hideously warped. Huh. <laughs> Did he shout boo is crazy? <laughs> I kind of want to do it. You know what? I've had a bad night. Maybe I'm a bit grumpy. Did he shout boo? You just. <laughs> I'm <Yet> sorry. <laughs> he did seem a ghost to me. A, a shadow of the father I loved. He resurrected me with magic so foul I nearly wretched just thinking of it. I didn't know oh that God. then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years, that my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them and myself, no matter what. Um, her whole world. That, that's gotta be crazy. Understandable. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. Yeah. Well, you're welcome here for as long as you'd like. Man, that that really is something. Like, I feel this weird... I feel very protective over Isabel. Just the fact that 
just because of Kethrick, because of everything he gone he he had gone through just to keep her, just to keep her here, just to bring her back to life. I feel like her being alive is the only redeemable thing that he he did, because she's such she's just such a force of good. Like you can feel it in everything that she says. She's she's a good-hearted person. And I, don't, I just, I want to keep her safe just to, to honor what little good Kethrick did in the world. I don't know. I, I really liked his character. It's such a shame that you have to kill him. But I, like, I guess he was one of those people that was too far gone, but bad. I just, I wish, I wish I could use the power of friendship sometimes, okay? Um... Let's get out of here. Time to progress. Let's see what awaits us. So I, I doubt we're going like straight into Baldur's Gate. I, I feel like there's definitely going to be a detour. We're going to have to travel there and something's going to happen. Correct? We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Hmm. Well, we can try. My former peers will be watching, no doubt. Waiting for my return. Ooh, right. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. You want to find them? I'm... I'm pretty sure we they we don't want to be found by them. We what betrayed Shar. I don't think they're going to be that forgiving. Is there anything else? But I heard that in the early version of this game, so it's not canon, but that there was an idea for Halson to have been the one that killed Isabel. And I don't I don't think that's like canon in the game anymore, but that was an idea that the writers had for early access that never came to fruition so i wonder how isabel died in this story and i feel like i wonder why they would cut that out because that seems so interesting oh a child um excuse me i can't find my mom oh he looks like me he's got red hair and mismatched eyes and some freckles uh, where did you last see her? She was, um, she was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. Oh. That was last ten day, though. Oh. You must be hungry. Here's some food. Hey! Wow. Thanks. My mom would like this. She's the best cook in the world. <laughs> and she taught me too. I'll, um, I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. You can come to my camp. Thanks a lot. Or actually, probably not. I, <laughs> I can't just be snatching up these children. I'm surprised Astarian approved of that. Wow. Wow, he's turning a new leaf. Oh my god. Look, a whole town, Rivington. Look at all these people, dude. Look at these human children. What are you? What is that? Um, God, where do I begin? Look at this map. Jeez. If my friend tries to get you to invest, kindly turn her down. She doesn't need the encouragement. Okay. If I hire the refugees, then I get cheap labor and they get coin. It's a good deal for everyone. Mm. Or you can pay people fairly, you know? There, people are on in desperate times and could use a good start for their new lives, but you know, just me, just, uh, just an idea. All this kerfuffle over missing red caps. Yes, we'd caged them due to unruly behavior, but 
as our rat cap cleaners demonstrate. Most are perfectly harmless. We all have red caps, huh? Keep a sharp eye out. Red oh caps gosh. are on the loose. One's deemed too violent to work. And not one of these circus folks seem bothered by it. Circus? Why were these particular circus? Circus? I want to see dribbles, but I don't like the monster at the door. Oh yeah, that is that's that's kind of kind of foul. Please go ahead of us. My son is a little nervous. Ew, I would be too. Look at that thing. Why is that at their front door? Of course. Stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. How dare you? What in the <laughs> hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. Ooh, the steel hello. watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next. Oh, hello. Who's this man? Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. Dude, I didn't go to the circus. Uh, I've never heard of an extra planar circus. We travel from plane to plane, thrilling all, blessed to see us. From tempestuous Ginny to belligerent red caps, you'll find them all here. But oh. enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Do I gotta pay? All right, let's go. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <laughs> Benji? <laughs> what is happening? Brain juice smells like piss and iron. No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. What? Ooh, I'm a friend of Lord Gortash. I, I don't even know if I want to speak those words into existence. Uh, you know what? It's time to bring out the human noble privilege. Surely we can come to an agreement of $200. Well, it's a good thing I'm the agreeable sort, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show, Dribbles the Clown. A hundred more dollars and I want you to come with me. Hello. A tip? Don't piss off the Ginny. Oh, and if the Cobalt tries to sell you food, run. <laughs> Enjoy the circus. Hmm. Right oil for any situation. Ooh, did I actually get inspiration for that? Gain access to the circus. Oh, I thought it was for buying my way in. That would have been funny. What are you doing wasting time with me? There's a circus to enjoy, my friend. Go on. Dang, he's he's kind of fine. Yeah. Do I want to go into the circus right now? I kind of want to look around first. There's still so much to do. We'll, we'll come back for a party at the circus after I do the rounds. Civilization beckons at last. Right? It's no water I love it here. But Baldur's Gate is a respectable runner-up. Or at least a close third. Oh, Water Waterdeep does sound a little prettier than Baldur's Gate, to be fair. Starion, what do you think? Worms Crossing. The welcome mat of Baldur's Gate. This is it. I'm almost home. Mm. It's, a, it's a lot to think about. Are you worried about Kazdor finding out your back? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. Hmm. I mean, I feel like we could pull it off. 
I don't want to rain on his parade. Uh, how will you strike exactly? He won't be alone. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. Of course, but regardless, but the plan relax. is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <laughs> and if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well... All the better. Hmm. He's really dead set on taking that power for himself. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how it plays out in the long run. But man, look, <laughs> Shadowheart's hair is just glowing right now. So is mine, actually. The, the red is really standing out right now. I guess we'll leave it at that. Jeez. You have to... The amount of luck that Astarian lucked out on by meeting all of us. She met, he, he met a potential dark Justicar of Char, Shadowheart. He met Gale of Waterdeep, a prodigy of magic, the, the lover of Mistra. He met me, who's just cool. He has the, the angel spawn Dame Aelin on his side. Like, he stays winning as long as he's with us. Like, he, he, he actually stands a pretty good chance against Casador, I would say. Remind them that this is ours. Any of the refugees give you hassle, come to us. We know how to handle them. Wow. It's so weird to see my character's face model on other characters, because I'm bad because my character is human we don't come across many humans but now that we do it's like whoa oh uh, a tiefling dancing acts i ain't looking to make friends or enemies go bother someone else okay Okay. Seraphin, what's up with you? You look like you need to clean off the road, Dad. <laughs> Almost as much as I do. No good ends with hot water and a tub on this side of the crossing, though. Hmm. If you're after a job, Neverwinter is on the lookout for adventurers. That's where we're headed. Ooh, Neverwinter. Is that, that's where the D&D &D movie takes place, isn't it? The absolute song. If you are in the market for potions, I highly recommend the Velveteen Elixir. I've not been this well stocked since Waterdeep. I feel like I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy right now <laughs> in this town. It's kind of weird. What a weird turn of events. Uh, man, there's so much to look around in. Like, what are we doing? Will be plenty of work in Neverwinter. Safe work. I guess I'll start. I'll start at the ground, and then I'll start looking around buildings. Citizen. What do you remember? So this is like the outskirts of Baldur's Gate, so that's probably why there's a lot of refugees, because they won't let people in. But you heard Baldur's Gate was It's me again! Right? Well, it's a bloody lie. They've banned refugees from the city as if we're the problem. What's up with you guys? Can I help you? Oh, bloody ribs. Sorry, mate. Had a run in with a mugger. If you need something... That's the missus. Man, there's so much there's so much going on. Don't wander around Rivington alone, alright? My husband did and got mugged and beaten for his trouble. Alright. This whole situation stinks. What about you guys? The absolute army is on our doorstep. You want to live? Get out of here before it's too late. Mummy keeps talking about some army, but she won't tell me anything about it. I'm not a baby. Ah! No! Oh my god! 
Why don't you take your complaints to the She jumped on me and stabbed me. Oh my god, you're you're lucky. You're so lucky I didn't freak out and fling you across the room. Yeah. Get down. I've been holding her all day. I'm not neglecting her. You know what I need to do though? The audio of the chattering, I can't handle it. It's it's so loud that I can't hear myself think. I'm, I have to turn it down. Oh, what I what did I not perceive? The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Ooh, I love clowns. Forgive me, but I must attend to my friend. She's most upset about the post. The post. Do not, under any circumstances, employ sword course couriers. Their service is appalling. Okay. Do me a favor. Box my ears in. I can't listen to any more whining about missing letters. Hmm. Was there a... Is this a shop? I'd love to sell some things. Ooh. Welcome to the Rivington General. Carefully. The weapons are sharp. Dude, I have not seen a... What is it? A Dragonborn? I don't think... This is my first Dragonborn in the game. Hi! Or want a blade? Or a bow? Or a dagger? Or maybe a spear is more your thing? Ooh, you got a great sword. Like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? I'm, I'm good on spears, thank you. How do you say your name? X Vyak. X Vikyap. X Vikyap. Huh, show me your wares. Oh, yay! <laughs> she acts like my mom. Dude, we gotta sell so much stuff. How much money you got? Oh, we're good. We can dump everything here. How much money do I have? 9,000. I'm kind of killing it. An open heresy, crumbled note. Elder Brain Domination, Soul Cage. And this is all stuff that I found in Kethrick's place. Do I need this Idol of Saloon? I just carry it with me for seemingly no reason at this point. A saloon brooch. Well, I didn't have an option to give that to Aelin or Isabel, so I'm gonna just... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What else? So what else can I sell? Not the iron. I don't want to sell Mole's eye patch either, because maybe I'll have the option and give that back to her. Bestow curse. False life. Sorry, we, we gotta do a bit of spending and shopping for the moment, because new stuff. I feel like now that we're in the city, we could have like some actual good equipment. Shadowheart, I know you hoard in all this stuff. Ooh, do I wanna... Do I sell this? I kinda wanna sell this. Oh, I, I can't. They don't have enough. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Battle axe. I could sell that. I'm sure I can part with that. Do I need this great sword? Probably not. I don't know why I've been like sleeping on giving Shadowheart spears. They're kind of they kind of suit her. Do I have anything else? I don't know, I just, I like to hold on to little trinkets. I probably don't need most of them, but, you know. Don't need these gloves. Blood bank log. Faded note. Letter to Catherick. 
don't know. I like I like to have my little souvenirs. All right, let's do some actual shopping now. Ooh, what is? Ooh. Elven chain, you're considered proficient with this armor while you're wearing it. This is pretty, Astarian. I'm like holding it up to him, Astarian. This looks so good on you. I'm so I'm rich too. Can I just let me just buy that real quick? Hold on. I I, I have to see what it looks like on him. <gasps> He's so pretty in silver. Oh my god. We're getting it. We have to buy it. Uh, okay. What is this? Ooh, that's kind of cool, too. I don't know who we could put that on, but that's really... If I dyed that, that'd be so nice on, like, Carlac. On Carlac or Halson. Ooh, it's pretty. What does it do? T 15 temporary hit points whenever you rage. Ooh. Carlac would love that. Yo, you've got some nice stuff in here. Shield bash. I already have a shield. Ooh, what is this? Oh my god, we're we're shopping. Uh yeah, it doesn't look as nice on here. Let's see. Scale mail, plate armor. That just looks like what I have on now. Do I dare buy this? Oh my god, I'm getting it. I'm getting it for my friends. I'm rich. I don't care. Um, what else? Can never have enough fire arrows. Smoke powder arrow. Ooh. It's a, it's a good day to be me right now. What I think? What is this? Uh, this is a, a glaive. I have no need for that. You don't have any great swords, so I think we're good. I think we just splurged. Want more? Want less? Wanna sell? Wanna buy? You know where I am. Bye! She's so pretty. I love her gold. Can we just talk to her? Back again. Want a dagger? Or a bow? Need more arrows? Um, need a spear? No, I don't need a spear. Uh, I don't want to say I'm giving her a headache. Why is that my only option? I'll say it as a starian because a starian would say it. Hi. Want a blade? Or, or maybe a spear? You look like you know how to use a spear. Look how good he looks. Buy oh my spear. god. What'd you say? Huh? Oh my god. He's gonna roll up to Casador's Casador's palace, looking so pretty. Oh my god. Uh, tone down the excitement, will you? You're giving me a headache. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I just get so excited doing the best job ever. Really? Customer service is your idea of the best job ever? Yeah, I get to talk to people all day and work for the best damn smith in all of Rivington. Gildro Angleiron. Never he's heard of him. He's a living legend. Do you know he's won best smith in Rivington seven years in a row? And, and, he says that if I move enough stock, I might even get to have a go on the anvil. The anvil? Hmm. So where is this amazing boss of yours? Right up the stairs in his workshop. But I wouldn't bother him if I were you. He doesn't like to be disturbed when he's in the zone. Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe a shiny, shiny new blade. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say this just because it's so mean. It's Gildro Angolion, for God's sakes. If you knew how good he was, trust me, you'd feel exactly the same way. Hmm. So you want to be a smith? I mean, I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. But actually doing something with my hands and all that fire... I'd give anything to do what he does. Oh, God. Aww. Don't tell him I said that, will you? I really love my job. Promise. She seems so sweet. I like her. Man, a star... Are, is this our silver era? 
Are, are we all gonna be silver girlies no, right now? Oh my gosh. Gail, we need to get you an outfit too. Uh, where am I even going? You said he's up here? Is that him? Ooh, there he is. A Gildro Angle Iron the Smith. Well, with a name like Angle Iron. Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Hmm. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? Um, please do. You can make me a great sword. Um, how will you know my perfect weapon? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Ooh, Tell I like me, that. How do you like to kill? Um I'm not fussy as so long as they die. I wouldn't say that, okay? Um, Jesus, what are these options? I like to make them bleed, to sever arteries, tear flesh, to make them scream. Chill out. <laughs> oh my god. Slowly and painfully. Jesus! Um, quick and efficiently. I don't want anyone to suffer. Come, we're all friends here. No need to pretend you don't like to twist the knife. What is wrong with you? And when you kill someone, what do you feel? Um, man, I look so good right now. Like, are you joking? Look at his beautiful red hair in the morning light. Oh my god. He's basically the sunrise. Uh, why do you need to know this? That's a little personal. Call it professional curiosity. Now tell me, how does killing make you feel? A deep sadness. I take no enjoyment in it. You deny yourself the sweetest pleasures. But that can change, given the right circumstances. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? Oh, don't ask me that. Don't ask me that. I wouldn't want to. Like, Alan, he probably wouldn't ever want to. But given the company we keep, there's a there's always a balance of like they could go down the wrong path. And we try to prevent that. But if if it's just in general, I would never kill someone that I cared about. You'll do so much worse by the time I'm done with you. Oh, is this? Oh! Is that Orin? Oh my god. So, you're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. <laughs> oh my god. She's so cool. Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. He'll find your weaknesses, stick a knife in the cracks, and prize you apart. Unless you get him first. When you find the Lordling, tell him Orin is watching. All right, y'all got Orin beef all of a sudden? How long has she been watching? Ooh. Whoa. You! Try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward. It wasn't me. I've been out here the whole time. Don't dare lie to me. I saw you with me own eyes. Grinning at me like some bloody imbecile. Whoa. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Whoa, that's crazy. She did it as us. She could actually incriminate us. That's scary. 
Ooh. <laughs> Do I just gaslight him? You had a blow to the head. Are you sure you're remembering that correctly? I hate to be a gaslighter, but it's the only way to defuse the situation. I need a 20. Oh no, I don't want to have to hurt this guy. Come on. Please, okay, I, I'm gonna roll again. I don't wanna have to hurt him. He didn't do anything wrong. There we go. Thank you. Well, I... I'm sure it were you. I'm almost certain. Nah. Ah, uh, God's be damned, I don't know. I'd have sworn, but... My head's pounding. I don't remember. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, does Gail have something to say about that? Or in toys with us where she could destroy us. Whatever her motivations, I hope she reveals them quickly. I think her motivation is just to cause mayhem. Orin's little display was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. We need to stay alert all the same. Ooh, if she starts in- Oh my god. Imagine she starts impersonating our companions. Dude, why do I feel like that's gonna happen? They can't just show this happening to- They can't just show this happen and then never use it again. She's definitely like gonna try to infiltrate us. Oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, you mentioned Shara's followers might be watching for us. Do you think you can use them to track down your parents? I hope so. So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. Um, what should we be looking for? Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Oh. So there's someone around here, is what you're saying. Astarian, what's up? Uh, it's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer? Exactly. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. <laughs> He's so fed up. Man, I I get it. I get it. I had the same thought. Can't uh, slow down. Can I sneak in here? Here goes nothing. Uh, journal of Gildro and Angelarn. It's been almost 15 years since I bought this forge. Rivington Rat bought in yesterday as a third weapon made of infernal iron I've purchased this month. The skimtar that Rivington Rat brought in yesterday is third infernal iron I've purchased in the last month. The only infernal weapons I've seen since I've been here. Of course, I sold them all pronto, probably getting less than I might have if I was willing to sit on them for a while. That's something I'm not willing to do. Mama Angle Iron didn't raise any fools, but still I wonder, where are these diabolical weapons coming from? Huh. Ooh. Pajamas? I'll take those. I'll take that. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. I'm not a thief, I swear. It's just, it's game, it's game mechanics. mechanics. Dearest Gildro. Oh, it's actually from his mom! Your last letter left me rather concerned. I think it's time you seek some professional counsel for your melancholy. Such things can't be left to brew away unchecked. You've always been a sensitive soul, and I know how heartbreak has always hurt you more than you let on. There's no shame in seeking a little aid, is there? I'm always here for you, you know that, but I'm no expert when it comes to these things, and I think you should find someone who is. I say this with all the love in the world. Please at least think about it. Love always, Mama. Aww, Mama. So cute. 
all know that the primal source of Melmana, Geradol Iron Hand, gnomic deity of militant artifice. Huh. Rune powder incident, and the Iron Hands with the complicity of the Flaming Fist were driven from the city. Huh. What's this? It's locked from the other side. Wonder where it leads. Ooh, so we can't. We can't even lockpick it. Okay, can I? Can I talk to him again? Dude, you 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 love your mom. What do you want now? That's so sweet. I'm going down to the bloody shop. I've got work to do. Okay. Okay. He does not like me. That is fine. Let's see, can I talk to you? A lot of refugees here. Let me quick save. Dude, Orin could be anywhere. She's in the walls, dude. I'm scared. Oh, there's so much to explore. We'll probably do the circus in another episode. I just want to clear the area. Ooh, what's over here? Quick save. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these squatters out of my house now! <laughs> Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. Yeah, does no one we meet ever get along, even in the city? Not if they're trying to help themselves to other people's property. I just want to remove these unlawful interlopers from my property. Huh. Squatters? This is a pretty big house. Are you sure you don't have a single spare room? Eh, that's, that's asking a lot. Okay, well, you, it's his house. You can't just let people go to and fro in his quarters, you know? Like, calm down a little bit with that. But, you know, it's always heartening to see a true philanthropist out in the wild. Excuse me. I'm exceedingly charitable. Ask anyone in this wretched town. It's one thing to donate extremely generously to those less fortunate than oneself, and quite another to give away one's entire house. Okay. This man's indignant demeanor barely masks a seething anxiety. There's more to this situation than he's letting on. Oh. I'm a very magnanimous individual, but this is my home! Either they leave, or I'll make them! Hmm. You seem to be a little on edge. Are you alright? Well, wouldn't you be on edge if your beautiful home had been defiled by such brazen interlopers? I mean, I, I'd, I'd probably be a little mad if someone... <laughs> if I showed up and someone was in my house. I can't... I can't fault you there. Hmm. I'll get them out of your house for free. Does that mean I'm gonna fight them though? Like, they're not soldiers. Hold on. Yeah, I, if I say this, I, that doesn't mean I wanna like fight them. Like, can I talk to them and be like, hey y'all, here's some money, go find somewhere else? Is that, is that what I'm, I, let, let me see. I'll get them out of your house for free old family motto never trust anyone who works for free what's in it for you what's in it for me is i don't want to see violence and blood over something stupid um it's yeah it's the only way i can guarantee there won't be any blood spilled i never said anyone needed to get hurt you just told them get out as soon as possible but other than that, I don't care what methods you use. As long as you get rid of them. And fast! It's fine by me. Okay. I see you're a charitable sort. 
Perhaps you have some benevolence to spare for us poor souls. We just lost a load of gold thanks to somebody interfering in our business, you see. And now we're a little out of pocket. Would you rather I killed you? Because that's probably what's going to happen. Police coalition unifying every criminal outfit in the city under one collective rule, from cut purses to contract killers. Hmm. Real shame that, but you'll have to find your charitable donation elsewhere. Oh, you know, it's shocking how many people opt for the hard way when the easy way is right there. Any last words? Are you serious? Lady, lady, I don't I don't think you know who you're dealing with. I yes, okay. I just I just looked at the screen. I literally fought and killed an avatar of Merkel. Do you have any last words? I was just going to say, thank you, game. That's that was my exact thought. Oh my god. Read my mind. Read my mind. You're serious. Let's forget this unpleasantness ever happened. Come on, boys. We've got places to be. Yeah. Don't ever press me like that again. Who I was just about to say. <laughs> Jesus. Lord. You gotta go, dude. You see those animals are out of the picture? Can we stay now? Or are you going to turn us next? No, take some money, dude. Can I pan? Yeah, exactly. I love when the game is on my wavelength. Thank you. And take this, you'll be much better off in an inn than waiting to get chased out of here. I don't want to take charity from some stranger. But... I will. For the sake of my daughter, thank you. We'll get going as soon as we've got our things together. You don't want to take charity from a stranger, but you can shack up in someone's house? Like, what? Logic. Thank you, your family. All right, Arthur. All's well that ends well, eh? I'm sure the guild will be in touch with any concerns. Hmm. Squatters are gone. The house is all yours. At long last. I've got so much to do now. I'd really better get on with it. Excuse me, would you? Man, I can't believe... No one actually got killed in all of that. Ooh, exerting judgment. What was that for? Let me see. End the squabbling between the merchant and the squatters, dude. I can't believe I managed to do that without anyone dying. I'm gonna go invade your house now. Very well. Look, I really don't have time to chat. I'm sure you can find someone this busy to listen to somewhere. Uh, what are your plans now? I uh, thank you so much for your interest, but it's <laughs> really none of your it. concern, is it? Hmm? Excuse me. His character model looks like a, a character that I made for one of my playthroughs. Um, not recording. So I... <laughs> I don't know, I find, I find his look very endearing because I made a character very similar to how he looks. Why am I going through this man's stuff? That might be worth a look. Ooh. Ooh, what is all this? Disarm toolkit, backpack, music box. Let me just, uh... You didn't see nothing. Let me quick save. Do as I say, not as I do. Dang. Dang. All right, let's go. Be cautious. Ooh, what are we getting into right now? Be careful. There are traps about. Was that a 20? I changed the dice and now I don't know what- I don't know what that number means. 
Be wary. This place is trapped. I hope it's not the trap that Gale just stood right in front of. Thank you. Gale. God, Astarian, I love you. You just you're just killing it. There are traps about. Okay. If I go through here, is it I hate that. All of my perceptions failed. Dude, please. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Everyone relax. Everyone relax. Nobody move a muscle. Alan, do not walk ahead of the Starion. You <laughs> That's crazy. Does he know? Is he gonna know if I go back up that I did that? Watch your back. Oh my god, I didn't realize I was walking that close to it. I saw it. Does he know? This is ruined. I don't think he cares, okay. Whew. Let's go. We already messed it all up. It's fine. Honestly, it didn't hit us that hard. Traps. How do you ship it? This bear. It's big. But still young. Heavens help the hunter if its mother caught them. <laughs> that laugh. Oh. Shadow art. Ooh, yeah, this is trapped. What are we even doing down here? What's the point of this? We just got squatters out of this guy's house and now we're like, let's loot him. <laughs> I love this game. Let's crack it open. Nice. All right, what do we got? Ooh, blackmail letter. Arthur, package still waiting for you at Felagir's. You better not be late again or we'll start to wonder if you're really as committed to this as you claim to be. Pick it up, put it in the teddy bears, make the donation. It couldn't be simpler, really. If it's still here this time tomorrow, we'll stuff you with it. As you well know, we've plenty to spare. Hardly right. the hope of a sweet, generous soul. It might be worth looking into his donations. Who knows what he's been giving? Is it the... Are they putting like fireworks in the teddy bears? Huh? Let me read that again. Or is it like, is, is this a drug ring? Like, what, what did I just stumble upon Let's in this game? Whoa. Can I, like, examine it? Seems one good squeeze away from crumbling. Okay. What did we just get ourselves into? Adventure from the... Excerpt from the True and Impossible Adventures of Tenebro Morrow. Okay, I don't, I don't think that concerns us. Whoa. Hold on. What did we just... <laughs> did we just uncover a, a drug ring in this game? I'm so lost. Wow. This place is more dangerous than I thought. I guess, do we, should we confront him right now, or what's up? What path lies before me? Well, at least he didn't hear the fireworks. You again. Did you need something? <laughs> he looks so much like the character I made. 
Uh, found some rather interesting, rather sinister things in your basement. Sinister? <laughs> Nonsense! Those are experimental toys, guaranteed to bring a smile to the face of even the unhappiest child. They're extremely precious, and you shouldn't be poking around in my workshop and tampering with them. Um... Do I even say I'll get to the bottom of this? <laughs> like, why warn him? I guess I'll say it. I'll, I'll get to the bottom of this. Really? There's no this? And nothing to get to the bottom of? Where is my candelabra? Huh. Did they take my grandmother's candelabra? <laughs> He's still talking about all this stuff, but getting lost. I mean, admittedly, it is kind of foul that you you show up to your house and there's like a whole different family living in it, but... Hey, uh, maybe may everything happens for a reason. I don't know what we just uncovered, but I'd, I'd like to find out. Whoa, where, why are they... Huh? Who put birds in here? Oh, Astarian, I need you, my dearest. Thirty-three. Money? Nope. Broke. Ooh, letter to Mamsel Amira. Or Amira. Draft. Never sent it. Madam Amira, thank you for the invitation. You know how much I love Shara's caress, but I still haven't lived down my last experience with the Drow Twins, and I fear they won't have forgotten my little mishap. So that was probably my last visit. I hope you'll understand Arthur. What did you do? Is that Alibaran Drow? Ooh, Roland loves this. I'll, t I'll take it. I'll, I'll save it for it for later. Row of books. Basement key. Oh, well, <laughs> that's a little too late for that one. Household prayer. Lothander to light, saloon to guide, Kelimbor to judge, and passage provide. All right. A lot of good that does. Arthur's private musings. An unfinished love story, handwritten by Arthur Gregorio, whose name is attached to the bottom of every page. Her ample bosoms fluttered like dove's fingers brushing against his nails. What? Huh? The very ends of his mustache <laughs> stood to attention as the fire stirred behind his eyes. No doubt this was love. Love, ah, love, the stuff that dreams are made of. It made him sweat to think of it. The graceful, enduring, blossoming magnitude of what it all. The priceless, breathless, weightless, sheer romping joy of it. Bad. But I, I fear my writing is bad like that sometimes. Oh, this is a nice bed though. Oh. Jesus, why does he lay like that? You never lay on your side. You can meditate on your side. Let's get out of here. I've, I've seen enough. We, we found his fan fiction account. I don't need to be here anymore. Let's go. Yeah, let's let's go. If they had any idea. You found your fan fiction. Look, I really don't have time to chat. I'm sure you can find someone this busy to listen to somewhere. Uh, I'm gone. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Let me see that letter again. Package waiting for you at Fella Gears. You better not be late. Put it in the teddy bears. Make a make the donation. Huh. Is that like in here, like in the camp somewhere? 
Because all the refugees are here. Can we find that? If I was a Sharon lookout, this is the sort of place I'd wait around. You think so? Here, let me let me do a full circle look over here. Hmm. Cool. What's that? Let's see what this does. Good looking out. Whoa. Oh, is that the... It is! The Stray Jocks! No, I know who it is. I know this ox. Take all that. Ox! It's me! Hey! Um, look into its eyes. Woo! Beautiful. There's an invitation behind its great brown eyes. Pet him. You don't like it. He never likes it. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that, I guess. Great seeing you again. Uh, ooh. Ooh, there's the children! My kids! Hey! Oh, saved for me. My kids, how are you? Oh, hi! Uh, if you're here to save me again, I don't really need to be saved right now. Good thing, huh? Bye. All right, just just checking on you, Mattis. How you doing, you buddy? You did me a real favor, clearing all those ghouls out of Moonrise. That old bonebag Ketherick had some fancy junk stashed behind all the cobwebs and piles of gore. Hmm. Uh, you looted Moonrise Towers? Didn't you? Figured we only got the scraps you didn't have the strength to carry. Fair enough. What do you think of Baldur's Gate? Wish I could tell you. We're stuck out here, but most of the action is beyond Worms Crossing. Hmm. Let's see these fancy items you have to offer. Anything magical? Would I try to fool a Sharpie like you? Have a look. Alright, let's see. What is that? Holy hand soap. Using this will clean off dirt, blood, and face paint, and will remove conditions that make you smell. The slogan, holy hand soap, for washing your your hands of dirt, muck, and even blasphemy, adorns this rudimentary bottle. $139 for soap. Nice scam, kid. What is it? Sending shell. Faint whispers creep from the sending shell when you hold it close, yet the method of sending messages from it is unclear. Fishing rod of alertness. Wielder of this rod cannot be surprised unless something unexpected happens. This kid. <laughs> oh my god. Did I? I don't think I even noticed that before. A Baldur's Gate stone. It's really, really an actual stone from Baldur's Gate. Truly a unique historical artifact. One of a kind. You know what? I can't even argue that one because. Uh, what is it? Sylvaneer shops do that all the time. Like, look, a rock from the beach. Like, yeah. Just pick one up. <laughs> Decanter of nearly endless water. This decanter, in fact, sometimes runs out of endless, sometimes runs out endless water. However, it will definitely regain its properties the next day, the day after, for sure. <laughs> Jesus. Um, polymorph into a dire raven. Ooh. What is this? Where did you get this? While wearing the amulet, the wearer's jump and flying speed increase by 1.5, and they gain the feather fall condition. Whoa, I kind of... That's This is just interesting. I just want to have it to have it. Wow. How did I not sell that before? Take that. Dude, look like at these fancy camp clothes. I can't wait to try these on. Huh, what do I need? Oil of Bane. 
Oil makes one feel foolish, ill-prepared, ill-prepared, not quite worthy. Huh. Oh, I'll take another smoke powder arrow. For sure. What is a spoon? Spoon of saltiness. When salting food, the bearer of the shadow cursed utensil will always add too little or too much, but never the right amount. Truly, the deviousness is top tier. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what is this kid? Um... I guess, what, what is this? Your weapon and unarmed attacks deal an additional two damage while surrounded by two or more foes. Oh. That's kind of nice. I might actually think I want that. What's that look like? That's, that's a little silly. I'll hide it. Uh, that sounds useful. I'll take it. Let's see. Anything I can sell? Hmm. Dwarf's poem. I don't want to sell a Starin's outfit. I'm, I'm too attached to that. Should I sell this? I, I'm, I feel like I'm never going to use it, so yeah, I'll sell it. This armor, I'm probably not going to use it either. Right? I could give it to Shadowheart, but also... Oh, I actually can't. I'm not proficient. Take it. I guess we're good. Stay away from trap chests! What's that mean? You got something to say? And a blackboard. Attention. Donations desperately needed for refugees. Every copper helps. Ooh. Donations for refugees. Donations. Um. No, I wanted to talk about the teddy bears. Can I do that? Ooh, I kind of want to roll this deception. Fist Allen reporting for duty, sir. I was asked to check on the barn because I actually need to. I actually need to do that. So if you can help me out a bit. Please, 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 please. No! No! Again. Just one, just one. Woo! Saved. And I wasn't informed. Bloody meddling flames. What are you still looking at? You've got a job to do. Hop to it. Yes, sir. Nesta let you in. Good. Means you'll be further away from me. what I do? Verone? Not sure why you were so keen to get in the barn. But if the man says so... Yeah, I, I guess I couldn't have just walked in. I, I guess I actually needed to do that. This is uh, where donations are? Animal speaking, animal speaking. Huh, you're a cute little pig. Aw. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me talk to you. Animal speaking. I say, terribly decent of you to come over and exchange pleasantries. Mm-hmm. Seen anything interesting while you've been here? Oh, folk come, folk go. It's a little dull, to be frank. The room next door has rather reeked of late, though. And that's coming from me. <laughs> <laughs> Fun to voice act that, I'm sure. Let's talk to everyone. I hear you've been given permission to be here. Don't disappoint me. Uh-huh. I'm totally meant to be here. What I about need a you? quick word. You best not piss away Manip Nestor's good graces. The uh, Worms Rock prison is rather cold this time of year. Why is everyone pressing me? I just said I was one of you. My god. Fist Rowan. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to all the fists. 
Maybe they know it's up. Oh, don't go around. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Let me look around. Uh, there's a pig. You said the door next to you? <gasps> Let me see that. Let me see that. There's wires in there. Is that... Ooh. Someone else's property. No, it wasn't me. Was okay, thank you. Are you all right? <laughs> oh, thank you. It wasn't me. Why? Why am I a starian right now? <sighs> Look at me. Have my eyebrows been singed off? Well, you're still talking, so you can't be that bad. What happened here? Uh, it turns out the toy bears were explosive. Jesus. What? Those are children's toys. Which means if a child had picked one up, I don't want to think about it. How do I know you're not the one who planted those explosives? Oh my god. Um, I wasn't. It's because I had a lead. I almost died in that explosion. Give me advantage on that. Give me guidance, too. Where's the I had a lead I was trying to follow this whole time? You think I'm just bopping around shooting teddy bears for fun? All right. I guess it can't hurt. I'll check up on the rest of the goods. You try and find whoever is responsible for I this. already know. I already know. You should have let me speak as him. Gods. Any one of us could have been blown to smithereens. I know. I'm I'm not going to touch the donation chest. I'm not going to touch their food either. Um, I want to go around here, but I they're acting like they're going to freak out if I open that door. So I'm just going to go around. Thanks for the help, pig. Okay. Well, I thought it was like drugs or something. I guess explosions actually doesn't make more sense <laughs> than to say. Oh, you want Shadow Heart? Hello. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. Oh my gosh, don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. You're a Sharn, aren't you, from Shadow Hearts Cloister? There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has our lady forsaken you? Uh, we kind of forsake, forsook her. Uh, she should plead contrition for now. Um, you know what? I should let Shadowheart handle it. This is her domain. I don't really know what what these people's angles are. So I'll just leave it up to her. I know the truth. I know my parents still Who? live. Tell me where they are and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable. Thanks uh -oh. to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Though if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after all. Hmm. Shadowheart, is this man bothering you? Let me talk to you. Where is she? Oh, when when she put her hood back on? Take that off. Return to your homes. That's all's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. 
Aside from the obvious, the Charns are using a place called the House of Grief to cover for their presence in Baldur's Gate. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. Man, she looks so good with the white hair. How can I help? No one's gonna talk about how we almost got blown up. Oh, what's up with you guys? Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Who are these guys? An explosion! It's happening! The agents of the Absolute are here! Do you hear that noise? The flames? I knew these refugees were up to no good. I knew it! Well, it wasn't them. I heard the explosion. This never would have happened if we had some steel watchers here. Ooh, the steel watchers? Uh, those are Gortash's creation, right? You know, if if Alan didn't wasn't on this journey, if he was still just like some some soldier in Baldur's Gate, some nobleman, he probably would have thought Gortash is pretty cool if he wasn't aware of the the tyranny and who he truly was. I feel like the idea of the Steel Watch in my character's eyes is like incredible. Because isn't it supposed to be like this this army that avoids taking human lives? Or like at least for for their side? Like I think that that in itself is like a good idea. Cause it, it helps avoid casualties on, on their side. I don't know, I just feel like that would have that would have been something he really would have appreciated. Been like, hey, this Gortash guy is pretty cool. Mind your own. Would have posters of him in his room. <laughs> uh, oh, a dog. Biscotti. Oh, oh God. Are they going to see it? What happens if they don't see it? Say what? Who's a good dog? You're a good dog. Yes. Oh, goodness, yes! I am a good dog! Fantastic stuff! Aww. Oh, yes, you're lovely! You can come back! What is a little tail? Cute! Have you found oh, 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 oh! Here we go! Here it comes! You want to say it again? Good dog. Yes, yes, yes! Amazing! Perfect! No notes! <laughs> okay. That. This your dog? I apologize for my husband and his obsession with that bloody dog. What was that, my dear? Nothing, darling. No, I'm afraid I must insist you do not pet the hound. Why? My love, you can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All the grabbing and touching startles poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. Hmm. Um, either way, it's a fine-looking hound. Isn't he just? I'm so very glad they let animals in the camp. Means Biscotti can be kept away from that awful war. Oh, yes. As long as the dog is okay, he's happy. <laughs> Give me strength. Oh my gosh. You know what? I sympathize with the wife in this situation. Because <laughs> I've had family members who put their pets before me and it's like, I hate dogs. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm with her on that. will roll for this. This, this transgression. This injustice. Oh, the bombs? Um, what happened to you? Oh, you poor naive soul. Let me tell you a story. A perfectly Let's respectable businessman wants to bring his, well, business into this fine city. And what do they do? Let him talk. They talk some absolute horse bollocks about papers and correct filing procedures and threw me in this slum. I should be loins deep in Charesse's caress by now, not waddling about in filth. 
Hmm. Everyone's talking about Charesse's caress. We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. Who's Grunch? Who's Grunch? Don't know how we're gonna get Grunch into the city. <laughs> Who is Grunch? As he is, but we have to. I don't. Is it, are you Grunch? That's a Grunch. Ah. <laughs> oh. Whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. Huh. Uh, let me have a look. Dang. Killing it. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Hmm. That's well, barely a scratch. What's the idea? Shh! Not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. And I like those lads. No. So I think I'll stick around a while more. No. Let's see. Can't stand her. Can't stand her. Can't stand her. My sister-in-law. A law and no sister. Oh, family drama. Christine is pretty fun. Actually, got here safely. Towing along my wife's sister and mother. Or maybe they towed me along. Eh? So you're just gonna let them all fight? You're gonna stand up for your girl? God, camping with the mother-in-law has been utter hell. Maybe I should just go on ahead into the city without her. Scouting, like. Please. My son, Garen, is pleased we got this far together. But his wife's bitching is making me old before my time. Why can't he tell her to put a sock in it? Oh my god, you can't be talking about your daughter-in-law like that. How did the wine sack get empty, Garen? Husband, husband, keep your mother in line. They got me signed up to learn to make pots, which is dumb. I'd rather learn how to kill cultists. And I bet you'd back me up on that. Um, you know, pottery's not so bad. I'm really worried about Umi. Ooh, do you think Roland's in the camp? No, probably not, because he had like a apprenticeship with LaRoque, and like he's the only one that actually had a reason to... Yeah, he probably got like a full ride into Baldur's Gate. He probably doesn't even have to wait here. We made it alive to Baldur's Gate! Almost, anyway. But I, I, I can't complain. When I look at Bex and realize she's safe, it's hard not to weep from joy. That's nice and all. I just realized. Didn't these two say that there's no dogs allowed in Baldur's Gate? So why does the why do the other people with Biscotti why why do they have a dog with them? How's that gonna work? We made it through hell. Twice. I know now that as long as Danis and I stick together, we can do anything. Aw, I'm happy for them. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried to save everyone. How are you holding up? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. I, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. I wonder... I really hope we get to see Zevlor, because I did go back and save him. Hail, friend. Fine day, isn't it? Forgive me, you're in no mood to talk about the weather. Your journey here was a hard one, no doubt. Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate? Nope, I live here. Uh, no, I'm Baldurian, born and bred. It's good to be home. It's a fine city, isn't it? No better place to hail from. 
Used to be you'd arrive knowing you had a full belly and a warm bed waiting for you. Not anymore. God, the, the These glare days, off your helmet, to though. Go around. I had the refugees on top and well. Folk aren't feeling too generous. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? I've been asking myself the same question. I wouldn't be the first to interfere. Some well to in the city donated enough to see the newcomers right for the time being. Only they didn't bother helping everyone else. Locals going without while strangers feast. It stoked the fire, all right. Some Baldarians are kicking up a fuss round the front of the barn as we speak. If I wasn't wearing this uniform, I'd walk round there and teach him a lesson they'd never forget. Hmm. Well, you can sympathize with the locals as well. I mean, this is hard on everyone. It's just not hard on one group of people. And I mean, everyone's scared. There's... There's a there's a war brewing. Of course, that everyone's going to be on edge. So, supposed to keep the peace, not stoke the fire. Ha! <laughs> what peace? If no one steps in, there'll be bodies piled high in the streets before long. Those refugees have been leeching on our city for too long. If we don't show them that we mean business, they'll bleed us dry. We need to march round the front and kill every last one of them. Let's see them eat our food with their guts on the floor. What do you say? Oh my god, dude. Um, <laughs> I'm reporting you. Tell them! I'll cut out their eyes and make them watch. Astarian, don't. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Didn't you already Don't say this? Hiss hot air into your worm weakened brain. Hello? You'll need to bleed and carve this city if you want to turn him to grave meat. He shivers at the thought. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin. Orin, soon you're enough. scaring me. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on Toy here. Jesus. What does she want? Guys. How can I help? We're not going to talk about Orin messing with us again? I was about to say. She do it. That was like that was strange. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna leave that right there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll probably see Orin again in the next episode. But until then, ooh, we might do the circus the next episode too because we could we could use a bit of fun in our lives. So with that in mind, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.